Hello, and welcome to MongoDB Atlas Tutorials. My name is Jay. I'm a developer advocate, and I'm here to teach you how to get started on using our database as a service, Atlas. Today, we'll go over the difference between MongoDB Atlas users and MongoDB database users. You'll learn the difference in the two and how you'll use them to access your MongoDB Atlas cluster. MongoDB Atlas comes with default security for both your account and your databases. First, we'll discuss your Atlas users. These are either owners or read-only users that are for accessing your UI with Atlas or interacting with our API. You can easily invite members or even change their roles. You can go ahead and click Add User, enter a username, and then select whether it's an owner, which has full administration access, or read-only, which may only modify personal preferences for their account. Next, we'll discuss database users. Click Clusters. And then we'll go to security, and then we'll review the user section. Here's where we'll create users that will eventually interact with our MongoDB database. All of these users live within the admin authentication database that Atlas manages for our cluster. So let's go ahead and click the add new user. If we want to create a new user, first we type in the username. Then we go ahead and select one of the three preset roles. There's an Atlas admin, and an Atlas admin is a full administrative user able to access any database, read, write, and make specific changes that are administrative. A read and write to any database user can read and write to any database within your cluster. An only read any database user can do only a read to any database within the whole cluster. Now, if you click on the Show Advanced Options section, you'll see that there's an entire set of new roles that we can set specifically for our user. If you'd like to create users that would be isolated to a single database, you can create the custom role here. So we can say that this read-only user should only be able to access a database called Tweets. Great. Now we can go ahead and auto-generate a secure password and click Add User. If we wait a few minutes, our new user will be generated and created across all three nodes in our cluster. If you're running into any Atlas issues, contact our support team at any time. Click the support link in the lower left of your Atlas interface or go to mongodb.com/contact. Thanks for watching.